Hello and welcome to another video by the AIM Academy. Today we want to have a look at the PP Print Starter Kit, everything that is inside, as well as apply the P surface to a glass plate. Now inside the starter kit there is a P roller used to apply the surface to the glass plate, the P surface itself, a P wipe used to clean the P surface, as well as a little plastic bag with some P surface cleaner and a box cutter as well as a couple of informative sheets, and then there's a P adhesive, a uh, basically a sheet of glue used to apply the P surface to aluminum plates. Now normally, uh, when printing on the Pro 2 series printers, we use a built surface. I have a clean one and a ruined one next to it that I will turn off in a minute. Then you could apply the P adhesive, and on top of that, the P surface then you could print with polypropylene on that surface. Instead, we can just skip the adhesive and go onto glass. The surface is so smooth that the piece surface will just stick without any other additives. And we're gonna do uh, that one after the other. So on the ruined build tack, first you would have to remove it. So I'm just gonna pull up the edge and then remove the entire build tack surface from this aluminum plate. This will then allow me to instead apply the piece surface to it. Now the build tack surface usually sticks quite firmly, which is actually its purpose, so you might have to pull with a little bit more effort. But we do get it off eventually. And you can throw that one away. And what you want to do next, uh, because it might still be a little dirty or have some glue residue, is get some cleaner and uh, just spray it on top and then use a scraper to get any residues off of the aluminum plate. You really want it to be clean before attempting to apply the P adhesive to it. After using the glue remover and the scraper to remove any residue, we go over it with a wet wipe in order to make sure that it is actually clean. Now the next step would be to actually apply the P adhesive first to this aluminum plate and then put the P surface on top of it. As right now, I only have one P surface, I don't actually want to glue it to the aluminum plate, instead I want to put it on the glass plate. So let's take this aside, move it over, and now look at glass. Glass is so great because it is really easy to apply the P-surface to. Now the P-surface in one of its corners has a PP print logo. This always has to be facing up. To apply to the glass plate, just put it on top, use the P-roller to go from the inside to the outside of the P-surface and roll it down onto the glass plate, uh, thereby removing any air bubbles that might still be stuck underneath. simply roll out any trapped air like this and when you're done the piece surface will stick firmly to the glass plate. It can still be removed with a little bit of force if you just pull at one of the corners and then pull it away from the glass plate. It is entirely reusable uh, when you use it this way. Once you are happy with the result, put away the P-roller, and then we can actually start using this. Before we do that, we still want to clean it. So you take the P-cleaner that was included in the package, you put some droplets on top of the P-surface, not too much, a little bit is enough, and then you can take some uh, paper towels and use these to spread the pea cleaner properly all across the pea surface. Really get into all the corners and make sure you cover the entire surface. This not only cleans it, but it, only, uh, it also increases its longevity. After you're done with a paper towel, take a wet wipe and once again, wipe down the pea surface. 
This helps to get any residue of the cleaner off of the surface as well. With the piece surface stuck firmly to the glass plate and it being all clean, we are now ready to actually put it into the printer. Thank you and see you next time.